Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Fit Polo Fitness Tracker. This is the model number H706. They did send me this product review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this item, the link to it will be in my video description below. Be sure to go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. They have a couple different colors for you as well. So here's how it's going to come packaged to you in a really nice retail box. We can turn it around and rotate it so you can see all the sides. It's a fitness tracker. It's IP67 rated. That means it's waterproof for up to three feet or one meter for 30 minutes. So sweating with this and doing heavy exercise and workouts, you're not going to ruin this fitness tracker. I would not recommend taking it in a swimming pool. But if you want to wear it in the shower and you do a pretty quick shower, I think that would be just fine. The battery life on this is anywhere from three to 10 days, depending on your type of usage and what all the features you have activated. It will either last longer or closer to that three day range. It's Bluetooth 4.0. Now let's go ahead and let's open it up. Here are all your package contents. First up, we have a really nice user guide right here. You can see the inside showing you it's in multiple languages. It's really easy to read. It's really well designed. They even have a warning right here about the IP67 rating. They say normal water temperature, one meter deep, which is three feet in 20 minutes. Do not use under hot baths, saunas, or spas. So just keep that in mind. Then we have your really nice charging cable right here. It's USB with magnetic clasp on the end to charge on the actual fitness tracker itself. And it's magnetized, so you just push it like that. It just pulls right in and you're all ready to go to start charging it up. And then we have the fitness tracker right here. They have a couple different colors online, so be sure to check out that link below. But I love the silicone band straps right there. They're really nice. We got black and blue. So now let's go ahead, let's charge it up and power it on. Back now with it charged up, I'm wearing it too. Just gonna model it for you guys for a second. I'm really impressed. It's so lightweight and there's so many different settings. If you have really big wrists or really tiny wrists, this will definitely be a watch that will fit for you. So it looks great. There's just one button. It's one button navigation and it's so easy to use. So now let's go ahead and let's look at all the features that we get on the watch face itself. Here's what the watch looks like powered up. You just tap this button right here and you can see the date, the time, how many steps you've taken. Then we can just tap it again to get into all the settings. So we have your pairing code, which we'll use in a minute, your activity tracker. So if you want to get into that tab, you just long press the button and you can see your steps and your calories burned. We have no tracking right now. It can even give your heart rate and you have so many different options, miles walked. So there we go for that setting. Now we'll just hold it again to go back to the main menu. Now we have the sports mode, same thing. We can look at that really quick. So it's going to show you the steps. So running, so you can choose what sort of activity or sport you're doing and you can set it accordingly right there. And then if you want to get back, there we go. Now we can try the stopwatch. Again, just long press for whatever setting you want to get into. We can set this right there and start counting up in time. So if we want to stop, just do that. Then we can long press again. Then it'll take us back. We can set a timer, same thing. So we'll long press and then we can set the actual time if we want. I'm gonna cycle us all the way back through so we can keep seeing some of the other settings. The next setting we have is the heart rate right here. So we can hold this and now it's gonna start measuring the heart rate but since it's not on me right now, it's not gonna find any sort of measurement. Then we can do some breathing training if we want right here and that will show us, it'll give us some really cool, so there you go. So now you got to do a breath. So you got to inhale, hold it, exhale, and you repeat. So you can do some cool training right there, which is really awesome, guys. Next, we have your sleep settings right here. So we'll get into that. You can see your deep sleep and your light sleep and how long you slept. And then we have more right here. So that'll show us we can set an alarm. We can do do not disturb, we can find mobile phone, and we can power off if we want, and we can do a reset of the fitness tracker. And last but not least, we have the pairing code. So let's actually go ahead and grab that now because we're gonna be ready to set this up with our mobile phone. 
Now on your iOS or Android device, make sure you have the Fit Polo app downloaded. Once you have it downloaded, you'll be at this home screen within the app. You can see we have no bracelet or fitness tracker connected. So we can actually just tap on that notification right there to try and add a device. So you can see it's searching right now for Bluetooth and we have found the H706 right here. So let's go ahead, let's tap on that to set it up. All right, this just vibrated and now it's set up successfully. That took literally less than like 10 seconds. So now we can check out all these great features from within the app. So we have the status right here. Look, it's showing your, your kilometers, your calories, and your hours or minutes exercised, your sleep data, your heart rate data, and your running, your distance, calories, and your pace. We have this function measure right here so we could remove these if we want. So we can go ahead, let's just tap one of those menus. Okay, so we can just drag and drop them around. But I'm gonna leave them all, I think that's really cool. Then we have the device tab, so here it is. We have 98% remaining. And again, this will last anywhere from three to 10 days depending on how much you use it and what features you always keep on. So if you wanna set the time, we can do that right here. So we can do 24 hour or 12 hour time. We can set the date format right there as well too and it already has auto synced all that on my fitness tracker now we have the correct date and time if you notice when i powered it on it was thinking it was like january but now we show the correct time and what's nice when you turn your wrist like this it does turn the screen on so we can actually see the date and time and you can check your steps all hands free so we can do the unit right now too we can do imperial or metric so there's there's the British inch right there, foot, mile, and then message, remind, we can do that as well. So that's pretty cool. The next setting up we have is alarm. So we can add an alarm in the top right hand corner, choose the hour and the minute, and then we can choose what we want to have happen for it and which days of the week we want as well. So that's cool. You can alarm yourself for certain activities, which is pretty neat, or you can just use it for sleeping. The next feature we have is the advise to sport. We can either turn that on or off and choose our start and end times. Based off of the icon right here, it sure looks like it's a reminder to get exercise at certain times throughout the day. Here's the heart rate we can choose when we want it to take it off 20, 10, 30 minutes. You can pick what you want right there and hit confirm. So again, that will help prolong your battery as well if it's only checking your heart rate every 30 minutes or if it's not even checking it at all. Shake screen on, I like that feature as well. And you can choose if you want it to um, only be on for a certain amount of time. And again, that will help um, reduce the battery or save the battery depending on what you have on. So if you turn it on, it will reduce the duration of the battery. If you leave it off, you will prolong the battery life of the fitness tracker. Do not disturb mode. We have watch face settings too. So look at all the cool designs we have depending on what you like. I really like the default one right out of the box. So I'm gonna leave it at that one. So this is really customizable. There's the vibrate too. So we can set the level for the vibrate all the way up to nine or have it at one. So I think five is pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Now let's look at some more settings. We have the my tab right here. We can put our name, our photo. Here's our target stuff. We can enter our name, our age, our gender, our height and our weight, and I'm guessing that that will continue to give us recommended calories, distance, and steps to target, which is awesome. So you can really personalize this to your health and your needs. Then we have a help section right here too with the user guide, and that'll take us to a website, and then the frequently asked questions will also go to their website as well, and then you can even offer feedback for this device. So this is really cool. While we're here, let's go ahead, let's take the heart rate just so you guys can see that everything works. So I'm using it right now. I have it measuring my heart rate, so we'll see what it comes back with. Keep in mind, I am resting right now and I've been pretty well rested today. It just took, it said it's 79 beats per minute and it's finished. So that's really cool. On the app, it didn't update this second. But it was showing, it was saying 106, but I think that's just a default thing because it has not logged any of the data yet. But you can see this will really track you with your heart rate. So that's really a great feature. And I'm definitely impressed with this watch, guys. 
If you're interested in this product, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, do your shopping from there. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to my channel. I have new content coming out every day and I want you guys to be a part of it. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions, comments, or concerns. I'd be happy to answer them for you or point you in the right direction. Also, give us a follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.